guys, it's Kate again. So today I have this makeup look for you, this very glamorous, edgy makeup look inspired by the movie called The Huntsman Winter's War and the character of the evil queen played by uh, Charlize Theron. She wore this like golden black smoky eye makeup look in the final scene of the, of the movie and I was just I saw this makeup look and I knew immediately that I wanted to recreate it and that's what I'm doing today using some of my new products that I'm trying out uh, and the star of the show is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Pure Gold. So if you, you want to see how I did this look then just keep on watching. The first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to start with moisturizing my face. So just apply a light moisturizer that is a good base for your foundation. on to the eyes. I'm not gonna do my foundation first because I want everything to be uh, easy to clean if I have any fallout from the heavier eyeshadow look. So I'll just zoom you in and we'll start with the eyes. So for this look you want good eye primer because you want your shadows to last. So I'm just gonna apply a lot of eye primer to my lids all the way up to the crease like almost up to my brow bone and also a tiny bit under the eyes while this is sinking in I'm gonna move on to my brows I don't want a strong brow, just a little more defined and kind of tamed <laughs> because my eyes, my eyebrows can be a little crazy. So I'm just gonna brush through them with a spoolie. And fill them in with my NYX Micro Brow Pencil and espresso. And I'm gonna move on to the star of the show, which is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Pure Gold. It looks like this. Here it is swatched. It's just a true gold cream pencil, uh, cream eyeshadow and I'm gonna apply it to the center of the lid and then also along the upper lash line into the inner corner and along the lower lash line kind of like the, the quarter of the length into the, the eye. later uh, with a q-tip and also apply a little bit more once we have the black on. So now go ahead and grab a eyeshadow brush, uh, eyeshadow brush and a nice matte black shadow. I'm gonna use one from uh, from the sleek, you can barely see it, <laughs> from my very battered uh, sleek palette in uh, 601 All Natural. And I'm just gonna use this matte black shadow. And I'm gonna pack it on my flat shadow brush and apply it to uh, the outer corner and a little bit into the inner corner.
you can try and do a small, a very light line all the way across the crease and then move into the inner corner. And now that you have the black shadow applied, go ahead and take a fluffy brush and blend the edges to make sure there are no harsh lines. Also focus on the places where the gold meet, uh, meets the black and make sure this is all nice and blended. Then go ahead and take more of that black shadow with an angled brush or a pencil brush and apply it to the lower lash line. What you want to do now is take a black eye pencil, which I have to find first. Okay, uh, take black pencil and apply it to your uh, both of your water lines. And it's gonna contrast beautifully with the gold. And just apply it all the way around your eyes. And apply a lot of mascara and you're done with the eyeshadows with the eye look I'll be back with you once I have my mascara on and we'll move on, move on to the face for my foundation I want matte canvas so I'm just gonna apply my L'Oreal infallible foundation uh, in the color vanilla I'm just gonna apply it all around my face using my flat kabuki brush from Zoe. Now you want your complexion to be super duper flawless so make sure everything is nice and blended and then apply concealer to any spots or uh, dark circles that you might have. So I have a little guy here and of course my dark circles under my eyes this is the tricky part because you don't want to mess up all the work that you've put into your eyeshadows so just take a fluffy brush and carefully blend it in I want to brighten my eye area even more, so I'm gonna apply a lighter concealer. I'm gonna apply my NYX HD Photogenic Concealer in Fair. Just like a, in a triangle shape under my eyes. And blend it in with the same fluffy brush. Then I'm gonna set everything with my powder mostly the under eyes and just two more fin finishing touches I'm gonna apply light pink blush just to my cheeks to make to give myself a little more color And then finish off with a light pink lip gloss. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you like this look. I think it's very 
glamorous but still ele but elegant and kind of different with only two colors but still uh, it really makes your especially if you have blue eyes it makes your eyes pop and I think it looks stunning so if you did enjoy this video please 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 give it a thumbs up subscribe leave a comment down below and letting me know what you want to see next from me and follow me on Instagram and on Pinterest like my Facebook page and I will see you later bye